Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. Um, today we are looking at um, decorating these lovely backgrounds that I made. Um, if you look back on my last video, um, if you're subscribed and you're a regular viewer, you'll have seen it anyway. I did some rather fun sort of backgrounds. Now, I think I will probably do them slightly differently next time, but I really like the look of these. So I thought that I would do a, um, a card with them. And I haven't really decided which one I'm going to use. So I'm just going to basically pick the first one and see what we can do. And I've picked out some Lavinia stamps. Now, what I want to do is I want to create um, a sort of a piece going around the side, but I only want to ink part of it. Now, this is the vine branch. And as I said, I've, I bought some Lavinia stamps recently from um, the Farnborough Craft um, Fair, which is a rather large fair with over 100 stalls. And, um, and I thought, oh, that's going to be um, that's going to be something that I'm going to use quite a lot. So um, I thought, right, I'm going to get some of them and then I can start playing with them. So my favourites at the moment, as you know, are um, Lavinia and then Indigo Blue. So I'm actually going to I only want this part inked up. So I want to just take it round like that. So I'm just going to ink that part there. And I'm going to do it in, um, I've got my Versafine Claire and I've got different colours in there. So I can just, um, if I can get them out, I've got Fantasia, I've got Glamorous, which is a red, and I've got um, a dark blue but I don't think I'm going to use the dark blue I think I'm going to use these two colors because I think that they will work quite nicely and I might have I'm just going to have a look in my drawer to see if I've got a quite like to have a green in on there um, so let me see if I've got a let me move this out of the way I always have bits everywhere don't I I've got to open this drawer right to the back because I've got some Hopefully I've got some green. Now this is a green. So this is a little bit of Versafine and this is called Spanish Moss. So I think I'm going to try that because I think that might work quite well. And I've got a, um, we'll, we'll work with that and just see how it, how it goes. So I'm going to use the Fantasia, which is the purple, but I just want to ink up. that little part there because I want it to sort of come round like that that's perfect I know I've got a little bit on there but I don't think that that matters too much because it's going to sort of go round a bit so I'm just going to try and ink that up again without getting any of the other bits in and I'm just going to sort of work my way round like that. Still got a little bit coming out on there. I might have to do something with that. I'm not quite sure. I get my. I could just put a bit of a. Um, oh, what do you call it? Um, mask across it. But I think it'll. I think we'll be all right. So I just want to do it round like that. I think that's quite pretty. I do want to have sort of another. I think I'm going to do it all the way round actually. Um, so let's. Get that little bit sticking out there, which is quite fun. Let's do this one round like this. nice and do another one just coming round once you've inked it up a couple of times you can see exactly where you're going so I'm going to take that one up in that way like that 
Okay, so we've got some nice sort of bits of foliage in like that. Um, I do want to take, so I need to clean this one off, get my cloth. And I just need to have a little bit of water on here. I can just give it a little rub off with my cloth. Okay, so um, I think I want to do a little bit more sort of detail in on there. Um, and I'm going to use some of this green. So I'm just going to ink up. This little part here which is a completely different part but I just want to do that little part and we'll have that one coming in just sort of around side in like that that's fine And again, I've got a little bit that, let's turn it round this way, shall we? Like that. So we've got little bits of leaves and stuff coming through in different colours. And then I could just sort of take it in on the middle. That's going to come out there, isn't it? Let's take it that way then. So I think sometimes if you put it so that it, um, I'm just going to just ink this little top part up. Just do that there. And maybe just a little bit on this one. I quite like the combination of the two. So let's have a little look on. Turn it round this way, I think. Like that. And we'll just put this one in. Like that. There we go. So we've got lots of sort of bits going in, which I think are quite pretty. I might just sponge round the other side because there's different sort of shadowy bits in there. But I don't think it looks, I think it looks okay. Do think it looks okay and I quite like the fact that I brought a second colour in which I think just makes it look a bit a bit prettier so I've taken that off of there so this is the um, the vine branch which as I say I think is really rather nice and then I've got lots of little silhouette things to go in there I've also got these which are the dangly pieces which I do really love but I want to put them in quite dark. I've got some little birds and I quite like to have a bird in and I want to have the hairs down at the bottom. So um, what are we going to start with? I'm going to start with a couple of birds, I think. And I'm not sure which size I'm going to take. The nice thing is that because these are on little acetate sheets, you can just sort of put them around and go that size and that size, these two. So we'll have one in on there and we'll have that little one in on there. And this is where I need to go dark. So I need to get, and this is my favourite one, the Twilight, because it's a, a really dark blue, but it does work very well. So I'm just going to ink up this little bird and we're going to have him. Maybe sitting on a little branch there. There we go, that's quite nice. And I'm going to have this little one. It's going to sit on a little branch this way. We'll have him down about there. There we go, so we've got two little birds just sort of peering in, which I think look quite nice. And let me just clean those. Grab my cloth. 
when you're using um, inks like VersaFine Claire, if you don't clean them off quite quickly, then they do have a habit of staining. So I try and do it almost immediately and then we don't get the staining. And now I want my little um, bunnies and I'm going to have these down on the bottom. Just get them out. Now, I don't think I'll get, I like this one. So I can have this one right down at the bottom. And again, I'm using it in the um, twilight. Because it's a lovely dark colour. And so this one is going to go right down the bottom like that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, I have to quick clean. And even though this is quite a detailed dark background, I think it still works. Still think it works quite well. So that's the bunny. And then I want the, I could have three of them, couldn't I? No, I just want the two. I think three just is a bit too much, but I want one facing the opposite direction. So you've got them facing in on themselves or out of themselves. So this, oh no, it's still facing that way. I'm going to have to put three in. That's that one. So I need one coming the opposite direction because otherwise it's all looking out that way and I need to bring it in. So let's just give that a quick clean up and then we'll have, let's have the third one then and hopefully he's looking the opposite direction. They might all be looking the, that's looking the right direction. Let's just pop him on the edge. So we'll have him just like that in on that bit. So we've got the three of them down at the bottom. Let's give that just a bit of a clean up. And then I think I'm going to do, and I don't know whether how well it'll come out. I'm going to take the um, Oh, what to call it? I'm going to take the um, these little hanging things because I fancy some of those, but I'm going to do them in the red and just see how they come out. They might not come out very well at all because I don't know how the red will work on the purple, but we'll see. It's worth having a little go, I think. Um, let's put the heart one on. And I don't want it to go very far at all so I'm just taking it taking the heart and I'm only taking it to like there because I want it to be quite high so let's see if that will go in like that oh yes no that looks nice yes like that um, so that's the heart then we've got the bell. Oops. Oh, there it is. And again, I'm just making sure I don't ink it up too far. So I'm just inking it like that. Take that off of there. And we'll have this one up a little bit higher. Like that. Which is very pretty. And the last one is going to be the other longer dangling heart, which I just really like. And I think it might be a little bit busy on this background, or I think this background's a little bit busy, but 
I think it'll be all right. Let's just take that off of there. And we'll take that one in like that. There we go. So that's given those little pieces like that, which I think are quite nice. Let's give that a clean off. So those are those ones. And then I just want to go, I think I just want to go around the side a little bit. Do I want to keep it clean or do I want to just add something more? I'm not too sure. I think I could do with a, a little bit of a sentiment, which I'll do. I'm going to do my line around the side. But I think that that gives you a reasonable idea of how you can build up a little scene on there with the birds. Um, so thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.